I really should use these more. Hey everyone, this is Josh and you're watching Scattergraft. Changed my camera angle a little bit here. I feel like it feels a little more personal. What do you think? Also, there's the windstorm from hell going on outside right now, so hopefully you can't hear that too much in the video. So I've been really wanting to start building a catacomb for quite a while now. You know, kind of like in the style of the Paris catacombs where they have all the skulls on the walls. And I have seen some 3D printed versions that I could order online. So after looking at them for a while online though, with the price tag, I, I thought, you know, I could probably build these a lot cheaper and they'd probably be really easy to do. And also I just thought this would be a great opportunity to use some of my Citadel skulls. I don't use them enough and I'd love to start using them some more. So I kind of find myself hoarding them a little bit because they're so cool and I really just don't want to waste them. But to be honest, I think they'd be a lot cooler as a great centerpiece for an awesome build. So let me show you what I decided to do with them. So I started laying out my bricks. I knew that I wanted this to fit onto a one inch square. So I knew that that meant that I needed to use bricks for this that were one centimeter by one centimeter by one and a half centimeter. That way it would make a perfect inch square or pretty close. I just got those one centimeter by one centimeter blocks out with my Alpha knife. Just show that everything doesn't have to be done with the brocks on. I laid out the length of the bricks here at one and a half centimeter. And just cut all those out. And then I just cut a few more of them. Some of these pillars to match with this raised platform I built in my Dwarven Brewery build. If you haven't watched that, the link up here will take you to it. So I start to lay out the first bricks for the pillar base. And this is why the one centimeter by one centimeter by one and a half centimeter measurements matter for this. It actually makes the bricks a perfect one inch square. I also glued a couple of bricks together to work as the sides for my recess. I cut those evenly down the middle. I just measured those out with the sides of the base and cut them to size. I use the crunched up foil ball technique to give the stone some texture. I took my ballpoint pen to increase the size of the grout lines. I glued on these uprights and I put in a middle piece to give it a little extra strength. You see that the stones have an offset pattern here. If I flip it over, they're lined up with the grout lines and that's just not how they would build something in real life. So I wanna make sure you get this the right way so it looks good. And I just glued on the next layer there. Careful not to use too much glue so it doesn't seep out. And again, I use my square to make sure everything's perfect. This is a step you don't want to miss when building something like this because it's very easy to get this out of whack and then it will never be perfect once all the glue's dry. I just continue layering it up until I'm happy with the height. So the problem with foam pillars is they fall over real easy. So I cut a little recess in the bottom. And I glue some rocks that I got from the dollar store in there to help give it a little weight, help it stand up better on the table.
Then I just overfill that with glue and then I press it onto some parchment paper so that it'll sit flat. Once it's dry, it'll pop right off the parchment paper and have a nice flat bottom. And I just put together the second one the same way I did the first. And now these are looking pretty good, so I go ahead and Mod Podge them now. I figure it'd be a lot easier to get all this paint done before I get the skulls in. Alright, now that the Mod Podge is done, it's time to apply the Citadel skulls. These skulls are really great. It comes with 340 of them, and I've used so many of them for different little projects and still have a ton left. Something like this can really make your project pop. I'll put a link in the description. These skulls are something I don't regret getting, and I'm always finding a new use for them. So to get a better look, I just use a mix of the skulls with jaws, the skulls without jaws, a few of the skulls that have cracks in them, just to get a variation. And I was just going to put them inside the recesses, but I realized they were too deep and it would take a lot of skulls to fill that up. So I measured out a few little spacers to put in there and Mod Podge them up, and they seemed to help a lot. At this point, I was ready to paint everything a pewter gray. Then I just dry brush those in an off white. At this point I realized it'd be much easier to glue all the skulls to the pieces that I was putting in as spacers instead of trying to put them in one at a time after they're already in. The method I used here, I was just using my tweezers and then I was just dipping them on the brush of my super glue and then placing them on here. Once they were all on I gave them a spray from my accelerator and that made working this so much faster. Start painting all the skulls with a dead white from Vallejo. The first ones were a little thick, so I found that it was better to do about a 50-50 of the dead white to water. After that, I got all those pressed in, and man, it's starting to look really cool now. So I just blackwashed all the stone and I was really careful not to hit any of the skulls with it because I knew it would be too dark. After that I used my Army Painter Strong Tone Wash and that gave them a really great aged look. Alright, now for the final reveal. Alright, I'll be honest, this build turned out far better than I could have hoped. The Citadel Skulls are a real great product. They have such a fine detail on them, and the strong wash that I used, Strong Tone Army Painter, just gives it such a lifelike look. My original plan was just to build a few of these and maybe a few other catacomb pieces, but I really think I might turn this into a big project. I could really imagine these around some evil altar and maybe some more catacomb pieces on the walls, maybe some pieces with like some caskets built into them. There's a lot of things I could do with this. So originally I was thinking about putting some evil runes carved into the side, but I left them out because I thought it'd be a little more modular that way. That way instead of just using them as like an evil necromancer's lair or something, I could use them as like city catacombs where they might be haunted or something. Just something that's a little more good oriented as well. All right, well, this was a super fun build. If you like this, please share this video with your friends. It really helps the channel grow. And also, please like and subscribe, and thanks so much for watching Scattercraft. Bye.